Now we turn to Wall Street Journal reporter Colleen McCain Nelson with an analysis of how how uh, Governor Romney is dealing with the video that we just uh, we just learned so much about. First, we're going to go to some poll numbers that show uh, that show how the how the race is uh, how the race is shaping up. So we have there um, in the swing state poll we have Obama with 49 percent in Ohio, Romney 42 percent, Florida Obama 49 percent, Romney 44 percent, and Virginia. Obama 50 percent and Romney 43 um, percent. Colleen joining us from Washington DC. Colleen tell us a little bit about how you know bef bef before this video the Romney 47 percent video came out there were um, Republicans who were already concerned about Romney's momentum. Now those concerns are heightened. Tell us what the candidate is doing to uh, restore momentum to his campaign. Well, there were growing concerns even among Republicans just kind of about the pace of campaigning by Mitt Romney and also about how he was spending his time. He has been spending a lot of time at fundraisers, a lot less time at, at public events than um, perhaps some Republicans think he should be. And, uh, and not only is he doing a lot of fundraisers, but he's doing fundraisers in states that aren't swing states. So this week, for instance, he has done fundraisers in California, in Utah, in Georgia, in Texas. None of those states is in play come November 6 and while that's bringing him a lot of money that's not putting him in front of voters who are going to be voting in critical swing states and so we're hearing now from the Romney campaign that there's going to be a little bit of a reset going forward uh, they've announced a bus tour for next week he's going to be uh, in Florida today Las Vegas tomorrow then he's headed to Colorado and then Ohio for the bus tour next week so we're going to see him spending more time in swing states doing more campaign rallies uh, they're going to be buying more ads and they say that in the next few weeks they're going to start to ratchet down the fundraising so that they do are, are able to do more rallies and more voter events. And inside the campaign is there a sense that it's too late to be making this shift that the shift should have been made several weeks ago? Well they they argue that they have no choice but to spend a lot of time fundraising. And for that, of course, they, they blame President Obama. They say, well, he declined public financing, so we had to decline public financing. So they say that forces them to spend a lot of time fundraising, that the plan always was to, to fundraise very intensely up through this part of the campaign. And then as you get in the late stages of the campaign, then you have the money that you need to buy the ads and, and to do the get out the vote efforts. And you can, can shift your attention to uh, the public events and the speeches and the voter contact and that type of thing. So um, they, they say that this has been the plan, but um, as it's played out, it has raised some concerns among Republicans. And Romney attended a, uh, an event hosted by, by Univision, the, the, the Spanish language uh, television network, last night in Miami. Any, any sense of how that might be helping with the momentum of the campaign? Well, he certainly has a lot of work to do with Latino voters. He's not pulled very well with that group. Uh, we've seen him this week not only do the Univision event last night, he also spoke to the Hispanic Chamber of Com Commerce earlier this week. So there's been a concerted effort within the campaign to try and make up some ground with Hispanic voters to try and make that argument that, um, that they're not better off under Obama. And we heard him talk last night about how he wants to help 100% of Americans. And and so we'll, we'll see if we uh, sense any shift in the, in the polls there, but this is definitely an area where he has work to do.